Hello and welcome to the June 2021 Berklink Sales Review. It's absolutely crazy for me to think that half of 2021 is already over. And I'm, I guess, a little bit sad to say that this month was a lot slower than I expected. All right. So I guess uh, let's start off with the orders as our very first uh, statistic. I only received six orders in the entire month of June. And it looks like I actually haven't typed that in yet. So there it is. Um, the interesting thing was I did hold quite a few sales throughout the month. However, really very few orders came in. I think in the last week of June, so the 25th to the 30th, is when I received all my orders. So that was definitely disappointing for me. I I wasn't sure if there was maybe more I could do. And it's I guess it's not just me that's experienced this. It seems like other sellers have also had reduced number of orders. So I guess there's not too much I can do about that. Obviously, I am disappointed. You can see my goal over here uh, for 15 orders was not met. So that's sad. Um, I'm not going to look at monthly sales just yet. Let's take a look at lots sold. I did not have a goal for this, but it came out to around 120. Now, I think it would be a little bit unfair to compare to other months, right? Because obviously the number of parts was different, the number of sales, the type of sales. But it is definitely not the best, right? 120 is low. To be honest, I don't mind because I, you don't want orders with tons of lots, right? Um, so I wanted uh, 4,000 items sold, which to be honest is pretty high. And in reality, it came out to 772, so not even... 1,000 items. Now, to be fair, it is different because when I sold these 5,000 items, my store had closer to 17,000 or 18,000 parts. Now, my store is closer to 11,000. So, um, it's a lot harder to expect someone to buy almost half of your store at that point. Um, so, that came out to roughly uh, 128 items per order. And then finally, for monthly spending, obviously, it's zero. I can't buy anything for the store. Okay, so probably what you guys are all interested in is what were your monthly sales? So I'm just going to do all of this at once. Monthly sales was under $200. It's $198.68 to be exact. Uh, that obviously did not reach the goal of $400, although it's half. So let's uh, let's discuss why this possibly happened. Like I said before, I, I think it's probably because of the... I guess people aren't that interested, maybe. Uh, I don't know, maybe school's out now. People aren't spending that much time. Maybe that's not it. I, I'm not completely sure. There's, there's, a, there's a ton of different reasons it could be. It could be that my store has shrunk, so obviously there aren't that many parts that people are interested in. As you guys know, I am still selling, and if there's anyone that's interested in buying the whole store, you can always reach out to me. I'm so glad that I've sold 11,700 items this year. That is such a good number. That's, I think, over half of what I started with at the beginning of the year. So that's really awesome. Um, monthly sales, or sorry, yearly sales, I guess, so far is 1,500, which is, again, a really great number. And in general, I'm, I'm pretty glad with how we're looking, right? 1,200 lots is very respectable, although there are probably is some overlap there. Um, let me go ahead and fill out my July 2021 goals. And since I have failed to meet some of these in the past, I want to make these a little bit more realistic, right? So it's not something that's like, oh, oh my God, I feel so bad at the end of the month. I wish I had got there. Okay, so let's, uh, let's look at um, for order numbers. Okay, let's do at least 10 orders. That feels like it's reasonable. Um, for sales, let's do at least, um, $300 of sales. And then finally for items, I'm just going to put it at a clean, uh, two, 2,000 items. Uh, so I think these are somewhat realistic goals. As, uh, as you know, I always leave my links to the stores in the description. I will definitely be having lots of sales throughout this month. And I hope that the next month will be better. Um, yeah, I guess these are just things that happen with business. You know, they're ups and they're downs. So not too much I can do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will try and uh, include a updated investment video soon. And I'll see you soon. Thanks again. Have a great day, guys.